in one of the innumerable industrial areas that hem the capital of India, Santec Exim stands tall as one of the few successful first generation companies. Established in 1999 by UK Sangal, Santec has come to epitomize the true grit of the Indian SME. A will to be successful despite all odds. Obstacles are something that this hydraulic machinery manufacturer faces on a day-to-day -day basis. And it has made a habit of coming out triumphant. It's been really uh, difficult from uh, where we started. Uh, perhaps it, you'll be surprised. It started with an amount of 10,000 rupees, which is peanuts, you know, today. And with just one person initially. And I came in later. Mr. Sangal had uh, put in a lot of... Uh, you know, it's like, it's like his first baby, you can say. And uh, maybe not now, but initially he's spent nights, you know, working the machines to be delivered on time and uh, slight little husband-wife fights, you know, Sarah uh, then office type of things. But uh, the pain that he had put in, so in 10 years, now we are exporting to 35 countries, which is like, uh, we feel very proud about it. And uh, so the initial, uh, you know, the sacrifices that he had done and made us do mandatory, they have uh, come up with flying colours basically. And the taste of success is all the more sweeter after the innumerable days and nights of labour, the proverbial burning of the midnight oil. UK Sangal and his wife Richa Sangal define customer satisfaction as their company's primary pivot. And their unshakable belief in the importance of post-sale customer relationship has paid rich dividends. The company recorded revenues of 10 crore rupees in the last financial year, which was despite the global meltdown. And expectations are high for the coming year, with revenues expected to jump to 18 crore rupees. When we began the company, uh, we did have those uh, you know, high spirits, you can say. And although it was started with very few people, but the people were very efficient and a lot of hard work was being put in without compromising on quality, on, you know, customer satisfaction. Come what may, customer satisfaction was the best thing that was to be done. So to some extent, yes, uh, spirits were high that we will reach a level. And uh, yes, by God's grace, we've put in the effort and he's been kind enough to bless us with where we are today. A company which wholeheartedly believes in the concept of survival of the fittest is leaving no stone unturned to become the most robust and innovative supplier in its sector. And with the right philosophy being put into practice by its management team, it won't be long before this 11-year-old company earns its rightful place amongst the big guns.